Aloha e koma mai. Welcome to the fifth session of the Inner Peace series. Today, we have a very special guest. We're addressing stress. And we have Dr. Yukari Kunisue with us today. Very wonderful and um, looking forward to this. This is so much needed for our inner peace even our bodies as well. Dr. Kunisue is born and raised in Japan, and she graduated from UH Manoa in the East Asian Language and Literature Department. She also received her master's degree in education and a doctorate in psychology. She's currently a life coach and a hypnotherapist. By the way, if you're interested, she's offering students two free sessions, so I can forward her information you can contact her on your own and then afterwards you can decide whether you want to continue and just speak to her it's there that service is wonderful she's also a workshop facilitator on guided meditation and hypnotherapy she's been a tv and radio presenter she does a lot of community work in terms of yoga chair yoga for the elderly and for anyone else like even for me you know, maybe I do qualify as an elder at this point, <laughs> but she's very passionate about her hospice volunteer work. She has her own YouTube. She's a YouTube creator and vlogger. So there you go. I'd like to introduce to you our special guest speaker, Dr. Yukari Kenisue Sensei. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. So my topic today is addressing stress. And so far in the last four lectures, I think you have learned various tools, chanting, prayer, and Joy's imagery work, uh, some breathing exercise I've watched. And today my share is going to show you breathing exercise and yogic tradition is called prana. And then some of the chair yoga poses. Yoga has four to 500 different poses. And here we try to do some of the poses that where you can do while being seated. And finally, I'm going to show you a kind of artistic stress releasing tool called Zentangle. So these are the three things I'd like to share with you. Okay, and let's get started. First of all, breathing. And we have learned this already, but um, in yogic tradition or yoga tradition, it's called prana. And we all think that, oh, I really know how to breathe. What, what do I need to know about? Yes, we do know that we know bring the air in and air out. But most of the time, we do unconsciously. And if you forget everything about today's lecture, I would like you to remember one thing. If you feel stress, you bring in air and you bring out air and exhalation is slightly longer. That will definitely reduce the stress. That's the simplest and easiest available technique for you. I want everybody to be um, holding the ribs like this. And just try to see if you can breathe in and breathe out just normally. See what's going on. Inhale here and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So what did you notice? You probably notice the ribs rib cage going out and in, rising and falling. Now this time I want you to be a little bit more conscious to breathing through the nose and exhaling through mouth. So let's try this. Hold the ribs, inhale through your nose and open your mouth going, ah. exhale, exhale, exhale. Good, one more time. Inhale, feel the ribs. Exhale, open your mouth. Good. Now, I want you to try just nose in, nose out exercise. And this is the first 
yogic prana. Okay, so inhale. And slowly exhale. Inhale, let's deepen our breaths a little bit longer than usual. And exhale through the nose. When you exhale, just imagine you're bringing air out through the small straw. Try again. Inhale through your nose. And exhale slowly through your nose as if you're growing out the straw. Good. Next exercise is inhaling and exhaling through nose, but we'll give a little pose in between. Okay, so try this. Inhale, pose. Exhale, pose. I'm gonna count, inhale, three, two, one. Pause, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Good, one more time. If you haven't already, Try doing, doing this, closing your eyes. Close your eyes. Inhale, nose. Three, two, one. Pause. And slow exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Very good. So you have already stimulated parasympathetic system that is against fight or fright or sympathetic system. You know this one. I'm sure you have learned through Joy's class. If you can see this, inhalation coming through, nose actually going to the chest and diaphragm, we learned this and going abdomen. When you exhale, try gather air and bring it up to diaphragm and bring it out from chest and nose. Good, if you're up, close your eyes, <laughs> open your mouth, open your eyes, put your one hand and the other one in like a tummy area, like this lady and the picture is doing. We're gonna try one more time, three parts yogic breaths. I'm gonna count, inhale, four, three, two, one, pose, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. And the last one, try on your own. Count your own comfortable numbers. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Like I mentioned, we have this autonomic nervous system that regulates our stress level. And stress is not that bad guy. We do need it in order to be alert or avoid danger. You've heard of fight or flight, right? And you can see in this picture, when the sympathetic system is activated, your eyes di dilated and your heart rate is going up, down, they tend to be shallow, which is fine if you can regulate and then bring it back to by using parasympathetic system to calm your mind. But if you're doing only fight or flight, then you are like putting like a car, putting axle all the time, giving gas, 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 gas. And if you try to put the brake on, you can't do that. 
So you need to learn how to balance these two systems. And once again, breathing is the best tool that you have. If you remember after today, if you have any feeling, a little bit of panic or stress, okay, let me give myself four, three, two, one, through the nose, through the nose out, try that. And I would like to show you two different types of yoga type of breathing. The first one is called Ujjayi Pranayama. Ujjayi, U-J-J-A-Y, Prana, Yama, Yama is practice here. And what we do here is this. Try this. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and exhale. Good. This time, inhale through the nose. Close your mouth. But then exhale. You might hear hissing sound on your own. Okay, try this one more time. Inhale. Close your mouth and as if you are exhaling through your mouth. This Ujjayi Pranayama in yoga called victorious breath, but I like this naming ocean breath. It reminds me of waves coming in and waves going out. Bring in, everybody inhale. Close your mouth and exhale. Imagine the waves with your breath. Breath going out, calming your mind. This is another very good exercise when you feel stressed. Next, in the last yogic exercise I'd like to introduce, maybe some of you have seen or heard, it's called alternate nostril breathing. And so use your fingers, left or right, whichever is comfortable. Okay. You use thumb and two middle and index finger and pinky and ring finger. And you can put index finger and middle finger down so you have this little bit like shaka, but not really. When you inhale, use your thumb and close your right side and exhale through left. Okay, I'm gonna practice this. Before we do this, maybe some of you want to use the tissue <laughs> and roll out. Please mute <laughs> and roll up. Okay. If you have a clear nose, no problem. All right, let's start. So finger preparation, inhale, close the right side and exhale through left. Good. Now inhale through left, close left, exhale through right. Good. Inhale through right, close, exhale through left. Inhale left, exhale right. Inhale right, close and exhale left. Continue at least five more times. Let's try. Nobody can hear it, so just try this. One at a time. When you finish five times, just come back to the screen. Listen to your own breath. Then maybe later on, you can notice anything you notice. So why do we do this exercise? Yoga is a practice, philosophy, and science to find the balance 
when we are not balanced, we tend to feel stress. So this alternate breathing exercise will try to balance left and right side. And simple exercise like this may not be completely balanced, but it will give you an awareness. The breathing is a lot to do with balance in and balance out, in and out. Believe it or not, some of us have tendency to breathe in only one side. Exhale only one side. You didn't know that, did you? So let's see. When you have more time, practice this. Good. After all these breathing exercises, oxygen is filled in your body and you are ready to move. So, okay, if you can raise your hand, how many of you tried regular yoga? Good, or something like yoga. <laughs> okay, yoga is not so much like om and, you know, pretzel and all that. You all know how to move your body and it's a little bit more systematic. So today I'd like to show you some of the yoga poses that will help you, especially the neck, shoulders, lower back and chest. All these places tend to get contracted. We use often the term open, open. So we're gonna open your body. First thing first, if you're sitting a little close to the chair, a little bit move back. And so you have a space between your chair and your body. If you're sitting, don't lean back. If you're holding pencils or something, just put it down for now. And sit tall. And just imagine you have sit bones balance left and right, remember the balance? And from the sit bones, you have spine going up and nice curve that goes all the way back of your neck and the crown of your head, neck exercise. All right, so try put one ear to the shoulder just like this. Let's go down, good, and up. Go down, and up. I'm gonna do this with breath. Inhale, like Ujjayi, exhale. Inhale up, exhale down. All right, your neck is saying thank you. One more time each. Down and up and down and up. It was a slow movement. Now, this time I would like you to use your hand and go over your head, just like this lady is doing. Touch the top of your ear. Now, elbows back. So not so much like this, it's more back. Good. Now going down. One side, down. Little stretch. So you may hear, uh, feel the stretch here. And keep your hand where it is. Just bring it back. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. This time tuck your chin. So you may feel more stretch in the back of your head. You feel that? And slowly bring it back. All right, let's switch. Elbows back again and gently press it down. 
back to the center. Inhale here. And try open your collarbone wide and down. Good. Back to the center again. And down. Like we did in the other side, tuck your chin in. You feel the back of the neck, yes? Good job. Bring it back and gently release. A little bit of shoulder movement, both shoulders up and down. Up to the ears and down. I'm gonna do it with breath. Inhale up. Exhale back and down. Inhale up. Exhale down. We're gonna alternate one side up and down. The other side up and down. Good. One side and the other side. Both shoulders up again. This time going all the way back. So behind you, the shoulder blades is putting together. Yes? And bring it down. Go the other way. Back, up, and bring it down. Going to do a little faster. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Inhale, up and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, good, other way, back and down, up and down. Doesn't it feel good? I feel good. And down. There are many different kinds of exercise, but I'm gonna do the bottom middle kind today, okay? And bring one arm up, maybe you can see only partially, okay, good. And now elbows down and try touch behind your head and press it back. And the other arm is coming from behind. Let's see, if you're flexible, maybe you can touch the fingers. If not, just rub the t-shirt. Good, good. And elbows back. If you're very flexible, touching like this, Try touch the first knuckles. Yes, good. I can see you, Joy, doing great. All right. <laughs> okay, now look up, hold, and gently release from the bottom first, and top arm for back. Get other arm up, elbow back. Other hand grabbing. One side is always easier or harder. So it's not judgment, but be aware. Maybe easier side is the side that you often use or probably a little overuse. Okay. Inhale, elbows up. Good. Hold and release the bottom. Good, let's move on. Arm and chest, open arms. Cross and maybe touch the back of the hands together. If you're flexible, you can put two palms together like this uh, white background lady is doing. Finger point up and slowly elbow up and down. Inhale up, exhale down. You feel the stretch behind you. Inhale up, exhale down. Release, let's put the other arms over. Maybe put the back of the palms together or palms together once more. Elbows up, elbows down, elbows up, exhale down. Last one, inhale up, exhale down, and gently release. Bring the hands behind you, like this lady in the pink background. She's not putting together, but you can put hands together. 
Then open your shoulder, roll your shoulder back. Maybe you can touch the back of your chair. Good, inhale. And slow, gentle, exhale. One last time, inhale, roll shoulders back. And slowly release. Next pose is a twist pose. Okay. Make sure your feet are on the ground. One hand is going the other side, outside of the uh, kneecap. And maybe you can grab the chair or back of the chair and gently twist your body and tr try to look behind you. Twist. We don't really do the twisting kind of movement in regular life. And so this is a very good massaging pose for you. Gently back to the center and twist the other side. Okay, make sure your hip bones are down. And back to the center. Finally, Okay, this one is hip flexor stretch or exercise. And so when your one leg is cross, make sure your knee is down and just go any amount, go towards the screen. So where are you feeling? Any amount. and bring it back. Let's switch to the other side. It might help you to flex the foot and press gently the knee down. Any amount. So this exercise, while you're studying or sitting in the airplane or bus, wherever, you could do this one, just gentle exercise. Good. Like I said, even though it says Zen Tango and it's not much to do with Zen, rather this method is uh, developed by Zen monk with uh, his partner uh, who was an artist, graphic artist. So if you have downloaded the sheet, take it out. If you don't have anything, if you have a white sheet of paper, it will be fine. All you have to do is make a little square, one of them. You don't need to make so many, so we don't have too much time. Okay, are you all ready with the square? Do you have any fine ballpoint pen? The best one is this, actually, microns. Anything you have, black is the best. Yeah, assuming you do have it. And when you are in a classroom or sometimes talking with a friend, you tend to go like, mm, no, like writing something, doodling kind of thing, right? I'm sure it's not in Joy's class. But it's a similar concept. When you have mindlessly doing something, it's sort of easing your tension, doesn't it? So the concept behind of Zen Tango is the same thing. So you see all these interesting patterns. Now, I want you to take a look at one of the small boxes, a little bit hard to see and pick the one that you like. Doesn't have to be such complicated. And the square you prepared, or you printed out, hopefully, or any sheet of paper, start copying it. Draw next few minutes. So I'll give you four minutes to do this. And the concept behind it, as I said, there is no 
right or wrong. This is not really an art form per se. It's the pattern that will give you a mindfulness. If none of these patterns inspires you, you can just make up your own. Circles, squares, triangles, lines, dots, anything praises you. Zen Tango, I just speak while you are doing this, was developed about 20 years ago. And it's been used as a mindfulness practice. It stimulates your creativity, but without judgment. It's a form of meditation, eye and hand coordination, and releasing stress, sometimes releasing anxiety, and enter your creativity. The key of this is not to erase it and redo it. Therefore, we use a pen, no erasers. It's an abstract form, therefore there's no mistakes, no left or right or up and down, whatever the form you like. Let's give ourselves two more minutes. You can fill out all your boxes if you wish. All right, so let me show you some of the things that you can do. For instance, this is simple forms and just fill that out, any patterns that you like a great stress reliever and it's pretty. I know some of my friends are using Zen Tango for Christmas cards <laughs> or some little notes that you'd like to use and it's a great idea. Some of them use black and red or blue, blue and red. Now it's about time, so I'm gonna show you some of the examples. If you can look at the screen. So pretty neat. The one that Joy sent you, uh, the bottom was the same as this uh, dragon fry form, I think. So you can fill that out, make a copy or scan it, send it to Joy. Some of them looks more like a religious kind of, like a blue one or an elephant. Seems to be more asian -y kind of. A little bit like mandara also. So it's a fun way. So it's about time, right? Uh, for any questions or comments, I welcome your comments, especially what was your experience like? All right. Oh, thank you so much for that, especially the stretching exercises. So, yes. I love it. <laughs> now you can unmute. Who wants to go first with their reflections? I will volunteer. Yay! So, um, throughout all the entire lectures, I've been playing with this uh, crystal ball, and I was and I was sort of thinking, um, I sort of use this crystal ball as a stress reliever. And I was just wondering, is it kind of the same? Um, uh, does does Zen Tangle and this sort of have have like a similar have like a um, similarity? Yes. Is that Alex? 
Yep. Yes. A little bit hard uh, to see you in the dark. Hi. <laughs> yes, what a good point because you're using fingers and hands and repetitive movement. And that's a great stress reliever. Also, it connects to your brain to calm your parasympathetic system as well. What a great way. Well, all my hobbies came out of stress. Today yeah. I learned. <laughs> good job. Thanks. It's a good coping mechanism. Whatever works for you. Some people are kinesthetic. Some people are very visual. That's the mm -hmm. Zentangle. And if it reduces your stress, go with it. If it's not hurting yourself or other people, go with it. <laughs> you know? Right. Okay, our next question or comment. I have a question about the breathing exercise when you're up like this, I think we were doing, or it was this with our hands behind our backs mm -hmm. and the shoulders back. Mm -hmm. I find that my breathing is really shallow when I oh. do that. I can't get a deep breath. And I was wondering if you could, uh, if you um, why. Good point. Have you practiced this, this kind of um, yoga or pilates or stuff like um, that? Not regularly. Okay. Um, it's quite common because you're working hard to move your body and breathing. And this type of yoga that I practice is called vinyasa. And it means movement and breathing together. So yes, it is quite common that when I say, okay, deep breathing and then do this. And I think, no, impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, I think it's a matter of practice. <clears throat> so it does get easier? Yes, definitely. And if you feel uncomfortable deep breathing at the beginning, don't do it. Mm. Yeah, but okay. as long as you feel feel good, do it. Okay, thank you. Sure, good question. Great, who's next? So I really, really <laughs> like this session. It's, mm -hmm. it's a lot more practical compared Yay. to the previous <laughs> sections that we had. So yeah, I found a lot of enjoyment in, of it and I definitely am going to try uh, apply this. Um, something mm -hmm. uh, based off of the breathing, previous breathing question, um, I noticed with my breathing that when we had the uh, selective nostril, mm -hmm. um, no. I don't, there, one of my sides isn't breathing as well as the other. And you were ta talking about, you know, indirect stresses, you mm -hmm. know, on the side of this body is that would you think that's an influence well unless you have some physical uh little mm. tendency or you have sinus issues or something like that um people maybe that's what you've been breathing all your life and i'm not saying that it's bad but the first thing <laughs> is because you've been living quite well until now. <laughs> but important thing is, if one side is easier the other, than the other, means easier side is being overused, isn't it? So if you are okay with it, just to be aware, that's the first step. You don't need to fix it, correct it, feel bad about it, but this is how I am now. Maybe I want to do a little bit more balance. Let's see if I do it again. Mm -hmm. So pay attention how you are first. And if you feel like, ah, this is something I can manage to make it more balanced, then do it. But gradual process, no judgment. Does the no nose breathing, the uneven breathing of the nose, I noticed it too. So I was like, ooh, my right is mm. a bit more flowy than the left, but I'm not right. interested. And I use the hanky, <laughs> so <laughs> there's nothing obstructing. Um, does it self-correct after, after you practice this more? Or? Yes, definitely. Uh, in yoga, right side is the... Uh, in uh, yam part and left is in so in yam yeah so right side is yang mm -hmm. and left side is in mm -hmm. okay 
We have so, another. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So once again, it is not bad or good. Is that how you are? It's like how you walk. Maybe sometimes you use more right side or left side. Okay. If it's not causing anything hmm, negative, I guess, physically or emotionally, then just keep it. But if you feel like I want a more balanced physically and emotionally, something you can work on. How do you work on to become aware? Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi. First of all, thank you. I enjoyed all of the exercises. And I'm wondering if you can share a bit about the hypnotherapy. What what does it what do you do when you do hypnotherapy? If it's a okay. question that is okay to ask. Okay. Yeah, well, that's related a little to the class, different yeah? uh, out of this uh, lecture scope. Uh, but I, I'd be happy to explain but very briefly. Hypnotherapy is working with your subconscious level. We live in the conscious level, right? Those sub subconscious level, we have a lot of memories and a lot of uh, hang-ups. So if everything is fine, no problem. But sometimes subconscious level is influencing you without your consciousness. That's how hypnotherapy works. So if you want to learn more, I would be happy to answer through emails or uh, you can check out some YouTubes as well. I will forward the email mm -hmm. um, of Yukari Sensei for sure. everybody. Yeah, I'd be happy but, to yeah. answer any questions about yeah, so that. If you want to pursue it or just talk to her more about it, mm -hmm. you can do that. But thank you for asking that. Um, well, first, I wanted to comment that I've taken yoga before, never regularly, but I've done most of them. But the one I, I hadn't done was the shoulder one. And that was actually my favorite, the most like <laughs> relaxing. I don't know why, but it helped a lot. Mm -hmm. And I was just wondering, because I've always struggled with breathing and even like effects when I swim and stuff since I was a kid. Is there mm -hmm. a way to improve like your lung capacity? Yes, definitely. The one that we did, uh, the one that I introduced you, count, the slow deep breathing. Mm -hmm. So I did only three inhale and then five exhale and so, something like that. Make it longer. Okay. So breathe in, maybe you can count five, four, three, two, and then getting longer. I've seen my yoga teachers can count 10 in. <laughs> and, and now I, I don't know how their lungs work but our lungs uh, I learned that only one third of the lung capacity is normally used so other two thirds are kind of like ha, 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 not doing much so you do have a lot of capacity it's up to you to cultivate your capacity there are actually tribes, particularly in Southeast Asia, that they can hold their breaths up to four minutes underneath oh, the water. Oh, yeah, right. Because, Those are fibers, yeah. too. Yeah, they're, um, they're living. Um, the tribes live on um, boats oh, and right. stuff like that. So they're seafaring tribes. So um, their living is to, to do spear fishing, And so... Mm -hmm. I mean, not everybody has goggles and, you know, the, or the, you know, the, the fancy stuff that we have oxygen. I mean, the oxygen would be more expensive than the actual fish in Southeast Asia. So they had to adapt. And because of that, their lungs have evolved um, to be able to do that without passing out or drowning. So yes, that's the quick, I mean, I'm not going to tell you, please go to the ocean <laughs> we'll breathe for four minutes okay that's just big disclaimer you know but there is that that's the capacity thing that's a great awareness how your breathing is or has been and that's the first step like gee really do i have to do something about my breathing <laughs> right i've always kind of been curious so yeah so yes. <laughs> yeah go for it I, I thought it was just me because like when she was counting, I was already out of breath. <laughs> like my timing was also I was like, what? I remember doing this, right? But so like, it's like balance and just practicing to go. Yeah. So I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Because we usually just, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. 
There's no shame in it though, right? I mean, even I was, I was like, what, what, what? That one too. Was, that one too. I was like, how am I going to the other side? Yeah. <laughs> and, but reaching the back to those, those yeah. exercises that gets better over time, I hope. Um, <laughs> so, but I do, when I'm reaching things, I forget to breathe sometimes. So I'm like, my brain needs to do multitasking. Right. Yeah, right. Do you have anything to add, Yukari Sensei? Sure. Uh, most of the time, when we are trying to work so hard, we don't breathe. We just go, right? So you have to consciously tell your brain, breathe, deep breathe. And there are a lot of app, apps that calm and stuff. Just breathe every day, breathe. It helps. It does. And you become really aware, like, how's my breathing? Yeah. And the more yeah. oxygen you take into your body, um, it's good for your blood, it's good for your, your brain, you know. <laughs> it's it's good for all over, you know. We need and this beautiful air of Hawaii is free. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Please breathe. While we still have the beautiful air that right. we have. Yes. Um, I really like the alternative nostril breathing. I felt like I had a better, uh, I could uh, breathe deeper with that one. Um, but I also wanted to ask why we exhale longer than we inhale. Good question. I learned that, like I explained earlier, the parasympathetic system is regulated, uh, regulating ex by exhalation. So when exhalate, ex Exhaling longer, that will stimulate more that nervous system. Okay, thank you. Okay. Konnichiwa, shitsumon nan desu kere domo. To, yo, watashi no, tsuto kojin teki na hanashi nan desu kere do, kinchiwa suru to, karada ga, sugoku kono, chijikomaru, kanji ga sugoku atte, Yoga っていうのはその力を抜いて体を大きく広げるものなんですか？それともその重量法バランスよくするものなんですか？So I is asking sometimes she experience when she is intense, the body tend to contracted feeling or become a little bit smaller kind of feeling, and her question is is yoga is something to expand the body or make it a little bit more airy or breathy and the answer is yes and of <laughs> course the balance is another aspect of it but like i explained in the practice we often use the term open open your heart open your collarbones open your mouth or whatever if you don't open nothing can come in you need to get little things open so that new things can come into you. When we're doing that practice from earlier with like you have to touch her hands in the back, I did notice that I could do it a lot better on one side. So I was curious, like how could you improve on um, the other side? Which exercise is that? Where you had to like touch her, like this one? Reach her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, everybody is usually the right hand person. This is easier, right hand side. Um, <laughs> practice more every day. Uh, so this one first, use the sheet uh, cloth or something. I, if the student cannot use it, I usually ask them to. Can you see me? Go like that. Yeah. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. So let's see. You are here and maybe bring this one closer and closer and closer. And eventually you touch, open, bring it back. And this side is probably harder. So the same thing, use the belt, something, just go little by little, little by bit little, and always use the breath as your tool. It sometimes helps when you exhale that you can reach more but don't okay. hurt yourself on the first time that, you know, it's right. Good point. Yeah, yoga can get, uh, you can get injured 
from yoga too, because you, oh gee, that person's doing, I should be able to do it. I'm much younger, but that's not the case. I'm going to stand on my head now. No. <laughs> Listen to your own body. All right. <laughs> well, okay. Anybody else? wants to ask a question if not i'd like to say thank you to yukari sensei for being with us today students really enjoyed it as well as i did so all right and i also wanted to uh, say hello to the people who joined from japan and brendan i know him hey what's up <laughs> <laughs> a special shout out He's yeah, some uh, familiar the faces. Camera, okay. the camera, so. yeah, and Yamamura Sensei, thank you for supporting me. Yes. So again, I will forward uh, Yukari Sensei's um, email address on the when I post the YouTube link and after I edit it. So it usually takes me overnight to get it, this done. I have one comment that I said that I can uh, take some students, and it's only on the capacity of Miyohoji's listening lounge. So it's not my thing. It's uh, thanks to Miyohoji Temple. So please utilize that. Can say you want to say anything about the program or? Yeah, thank you very much again, Dr. Yukari. It is wonderful uh, your presentation. So our temple, we have a. Uh, this is not the counseling, but this is a lounge, round listening lounge that uh, Dr. Yukari will listen your questions or your concerns or your problems. So please uh, contact uh, to us, to me or Dr. Joy. And uh, if you would like to speak with her, this is a free, usually, you know, uh, she, she, she church, but, uh, you know, we, this is important for you to support your, you know, uh, education or spiritual or spiritual uh, development therefore yeah uh, if you are interested we we'll stop with uh, we we'll speak with uh, uh, we we'll speak with her please let us know but thank you again to you guys and say wonderful wonderful